attack in Nice, France. 84 people killed by a terrorist truck driver. French officials saying 10 of the dead, 10 of them were young children. Some of the injured, according to French officials, were trampled in the stampede of people trying to escape the attack. CNN senior international correspondent Atika Schubert is at the scene of the attack in Nice. And Atika, you spoke with a young victim who was wounded in the attack. Yes, 16-year-old girl, Kimberly Torres. Uh, and in fact, she was brought to the hospital right behind me. This is the Lanvin Children's Hospital. It is the closest hospital to the scene. And she was there witnessing as the truck uh, crushed bodies underneath. But as she was spoken, speaking to us, she actually broke down in tears. Take a listen. I didn't understand what was happening, she told us. I saw the truck, and I went closer. And then I saw everyone lying on the ground. I started running because everyone else was running too, but I still didn't understand. She's going to be 17 soon. And she called me and she said, Mommy, there are dead people everywhere. There are severed heads, dismembered legs, blood. Mommy, come get me, she said. So I left in a panic to look for her. And I tried to stay strong. I didn't want to cry in front of her. But I just can't hold back anymore. That was Kimberly's mother, Edviga, as well. And you can just hear the emotion in their voice. She managed to escape with a minor leg injury. But the kind of trauma that from simply witnessing the event is going to stay with her for the rest of her life. There are now 28 children still in that hospital. Five are in serious condition. Two are in critical condition. And also a 10-year-old boy that uh, hospital officials tell us still has not been identified. They cannot find his parents at this point yet, Jake. It's just horrifying. Atika Schubert in Nice, France. Thank you so much.